Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Swiss. And we're coming off a perfect Thursday night football NFL. We did lose a little in basketball uh, and college football, but it's okay because NFL was perfect 9-0. It was beautiful. Uh, in this video, we're traveling down to the SEC. Not a crazy big game as far as playoff implications. I think it's an interesting game to bet, though. So let's talk about it. Florida versus Missouri. Welcome to the Swiss. The Swiss. The sewers. Hey, get the sewers. All right, we got the Gators on the road at Missouri here, and Mizzou's getting seven and a half points at home. And the early bets definitely leaning Missouri. Look at all the sharp money, though. 73% of the money is on Florida. This is as of uh, Monday morning. Money would stay on Florida all week, and the books react to it heavy, too. Uh, by Tuesday, the line is already up to eight and a half. Here we are on Friday night. The consensus line is nine, but I saw a couple books that have it up at nine and a half already. So this, this line might still be moving. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, the line for this game should be Missouri plus 14. 0.08 so that's a five point lean on florida there heavy lean uh analytics heavy lean on florida all right let's run through a quick breakdown of this game and <laughs> do you guys remember week three when florida almost beat alabama and we were all like whoa we gotta watch out for this gators team man what the hell happened man this is not a good sec team they just had to come from behind to beat samford last year not stanford samford and on the road it gets even worse the gators are 0 and 3 on the road against sec teams this year in fact their only road win of the entire season is week two against south florida and they only won that game by 12 against south florida so what's going on with this florida team exactly well Going into the season with Emory Jones and Anthony Richardson splitting time at quarterback, I think Emory Jones is actually the starter, but they both get snaps. We knew that Florida was going to be a run-first football team, which is fine. They actually run the ball well. I mean, I think they're like 13th in the country in rushing yards. They have a good run game. I wouldn't call it, it might be elite. I might be top five, top 10 as far as efficiency goes. So they can run the ball for sure. Then South Carolina happened. And in that game, Florida had 26 carries for just 82 yards rushing. Where, do, where was the run game at? By the way, Florida's defense in that game led up 40 points and 280 yards rushing to the Gamecocks. They lost 40 to 14, I think it was, 40 to 17 maybe. They got blown out by South Carolina. Two weeks before that at LSU, they gave up 49 points to the Tigers. The Tigers, go Tigers. Gave up 49 points to the Tigers um, and they had rushed for 324 yards on Florida in that game. Then last week, the infamous Sanford game, they put up 524 total yards and 52 points, I think it was, on the Gators. This defense, what, what? So Florida's defense is struggling. So what do we think about them traveling to Missouri? This might be, that's probably the best opponent Florida could hope for. First of all, I want to start by saying Missouri is not nearly as bad as everyone thinks. I know they were 0-8 against the spread, but this is not like a garbage team. They actually play pretty decent football. They've had a couple good games. They're coming off a nice win. But the Missouri Tigers defense cannot stop the run. They really can't. They really struggle to stop the run. And you just heard what I said about Florida. Their biggest strength and maybe only elite quality about their team is their rushing attack. Look at what some teams have done against Missouri on the ground. Uh, Texas A&M ran for 283 on the Tigers. Uh, Boston College, Boston College ran for 275 on Missouri and beat Missouri, by the way. Uh, Vanderbilt, Vander Vandy ran for 258 on the Tigers. So yeah, this team is extremely vulnerable to a good rushing attack. So as horrible as Florida's defense has been, we could sit here and talk shit about Florida's defense all day. Uh, but the truth is, in this game, there's no reason that Florida should not rush for at least 275, 300 yards in this game. But here's the kicker. Missouri's going to run for 300 right back. Tyler Beatty's already had four 200-yard rushing games in this season already. There's no doubt in my mind he'll have another one against Florida, who's been getting lit up on the ground left and right, especially on the road, as I just got done saying. So who are we betting in this game? Honestly, I think Missouri is a more complete football team than Florida right now. I'll take Connor Basilek throwing the football over either Emory Jones or Anthony Richardson. Basilek can throw the ball a little bit. Um, so obviously Missouri's got a little more of a dynamic offense. They could run the ball with Beatty or throw the ball. Florida can throw the ball a little too. That's, that's not fair. But I like this Missouri team more. And if we're, look, if we're looking at a shootout, 
I want those extra nine points in my pocket, man. Give me Missouri plus nine. This is going to go on the final ticket. I doubt it makes the top seven bets. It's got a shot, though. I have it around seven or eight right now, so we'll see. It will be on the final ticket, though. Speaking of which, final ticket posted on kylekerms.com, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Have my bet of the day, parlay of the day, top seven bets, and every single bet I'm making for the entire college football slate, as well as all sports posted right on the website. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I'll definitely post it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. College football Saturday is here. We had a good Saturday last week. I really enjoyed last week. Um, there was a couple crazy endings. We, had, we made some money last Saturday. Actually, we went green in all five sports last Saturday. Last Saturday was amazing. Let's have another one of those. I'll talk to you on Twitter.